parents should educate their children line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little, not allowing any disregard of God's holy law. They should rely upon divine power, asking the Lord to help them to keep their children true to him who gave his only begotten son to bring the disloyal and disobedient back to him. God longs to pour upon men and women the rich current of his love. He longs to see them delighting to do his will, using every jot of their entrusted powers in their service, teaching all who come within the sphere of their influence that the way to be treated as righteous for Christ's sake is to obey the Lord. A mother should not allow her child to gain an advantage over her in a single instance. And in order to maintain their authority, it is not necessary to resort to harsh measures. A firm, steady hand and kindness which convinces the child of your love will accomplish the purpose. But left to selfishness, anger and self-will will have their course for the first three years of a child's life and it will be hard to bring that child to submit to wholesome discipline. The child's dis disposition has become soared. It delights in having its own way. Parental control is distasteful. These evil tendencies grow with it, its growth until in manhood supreme selfishness and a lack of self-control place him at the mercy of the evils that run riot in our land. Never should our children be allowed to show their parents disrespect. Self-will should never be permitted to go unrebuked. The future well-being of the child requires kindly, loving, but firm discipline. The youth and children who have praying parents have been greatly privileged for such an opportunity to know and love God. In respecting and rendering obedience to their parents, they may learn how to respect and obey their heavenly father. If they walk as children of the light, they will be kind and courteous, loving and respectful to their parents whom they have seen and thus be better qualified to love God whom they have not seen. If they are faithful representatives of their parents practicing the truth through the help given them of God, then by precept and example they acknowledge the ownership of God and honor him by a well-ordered life and godly conversation. When parents fail to require prompt and perfect obedience in their children, they fail to lay the right foundation of character in their little ones. They prepare their children to dishonor them when they are old and bring sorrow to their hearts when they are nearing the grave. Let parents and teachers impress upon the minds of children that the Lord is proving them in this life to see if they will render obedience to him with love and reverence. Those who would not be obedient to Christ here would not be obedient to him in the eternal world. If parents or children are ever welcomed into the mansions above, it will be because they have in this world learned to obey the commands of God. Children are to be taught that their capabilities were given them for the honor and glory of God. To this end, they must learn the lesson of obedience. By gentle, persistent effort, the behavior or the habit should be established. Thus, to a great degree, may be prevented those later conflicts between will and authority that do so much to arose in the minds of the youth alienation and bitterness towards parents and teachers and too often resistance of all authority, human and divine. Teach your children to honor you 